Hello and welcome to Infinity. Let's have a look at adjusting individual cover colors by using the curves adjustment. So let's bring up the curves here. Here we go. And see what we can do to this rather nice picture. One of the things we might think of is can we sort of bring this in a bit because nothing much seems to be happening here. However, before you do that, if you drop down here and look at the colours, look, the red goes all the way to the end, so we can't pull things in there without chopping off some of the red and changing the picture. <coughs> so, but what we just did here, this drop down, this is how we get to the individual colours, red, green and blue. This is in the RGB scheme. We can also use CMYK and LAB, which are different ways of looking at colours, which we'll cover in another video. So let's stay with RGB here and yeah, let's start off with red. Um, this is an interesting thing that you can do here because if I pull this up here, you can see as we pull it further up, it gets redder and redder until it's pretty pink, which effectively this turns all red colors right up, up. So you've got a very strongly red tinged thing. Interestingly though, if you go down, what colour, what's going to happen here? Are we going to get darker reds? No, we're going to get the opposite of red. And the opposite colour to red is cyan. So if we bring this down, here we're getting more cyan in the picture. So we've got CMY effectively downwards and RGB upwards. So let's, let's turn it downwards a bit to increase the cyan to pull out the sky and a bit of the water. So, see what else we can do. Let's go to green. We've got some interesting greens here in the plants. What can we do with that? That pulls that up a bit. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll do a bit of an S curve on that. So, we'll make, is that going to make it better? Or maybe we'll just put the turn up here, do a reverse S. We'll turn up the darks, which is where we find that here. And if we turn down these here. The opposite of green is magenta, so if you go down here we'll get magenta into the picture, which we don't, don't particularly want. So how about if we just put a bottom bump there and a couple of anchors on the green here to keep it in place and then we can just turn up the shadows a bit where the dark areas of the picture are to make this a little bit greener. Maybe that's a bit heavy. Just small tweaks can make a difference. And what about blue? The blue line, we can go upwards to make it more blue and downwards. Opposite blue is going to make it yellow. So let's add a bit of blue just overall to just improve the sky and the water. So there we go. So let's look at the difference then. So without, there's the original picture, with that's just a bit nicer. And that's often what editing is doing. It's making a, a picture a bit nicer. Don't always have to make it lots different because it starts to look rather unreal if we overdo things. Anyway, there we go. Thank you very much for watching.